In my previous video, I pointed out, amongst other things, one thing, that is that if we look at reality, uh, we can say that reality would be the ultimate transcendent, and as a result, you cannot get away from, you cannot place yourself outside of reality. Your relationship to reality is, as I put it, unalienable. And thank you Smarter001, because he corrected me on that, it should of course be inalienable. Yes, of course, it should be. Um, yeah, your relationship to reality is inalienable. You cannot place yourself outside reality. You cannot escape reality. But another user, uh, Darth Slain, um, posted a comment that is a comment that I've often heard in this sort of context, and that's worth uh, posting another reply to nothing hostile or anything like that, just something that triggered another chain of thoughts in my mind, and thought this is something worth addressing, also maybe in the light of my position towards stuff such as antinatalism, for example. As Darth Slane put it, he says, you know, when I said you cannot escape from reality, you cannot, you know, your relationship to reality is inalienable, he came back with the response saying, well, you can actually escape from it, and that is when you die. And that is, in fact, a mistake. You cannot escape, not even when you die. You see, in order to escape, the escapee should find themselves afterwards in a position in which they are no longer imprisoned or whatever else it is that they were trying to escape from. The result of an escape should be a state of having escaped. And of course, there is no state after dying. Death is not a state of being. Death is a cessation of being. In other words, dying, yes, of course, we all die, but none of us will ever be dead. We never be anything after we die. We will not be, period. And that is something that's sometimes a bit difficult to get your head around. And it might be a little bit frustrating also to realize that there is therefore no escape from anything through dying anyway. Um, if you are experiencing a problem and you are, if you desire a state of being in which you no longer experience that problem, you must address the problem. You cannot simply resolve the problem by ceasing to exist because that removes you as well as the problem and therefore it's not a resolution of anything. Now, antinatalists often try to point out that there is no larger purpose to reality. Our lives are played out in a grand theater called the universe, and the universe couldn't care one whit about our existence. There is no purpose to our existence within the universe, and so on and so forth. And a number of us have countered this sort of an attitude by pointing out that meaning is something that has to arise from within. We have to create our own purpose to our own lives. And of course, somebody like an antinatalist or a nihilist or any of those variations of philosophical outlooks on lives would point out that that is all pretty much delusional. And, you know, what's the point in doing this? Because ultimately, in the great scheme of things, does it even matter? No, it doesn't. It's completely pointless. Any attempts to find your own purpose in life, to give your life your own meaning, is futile and irrelevant. And I would, in the light of what I said earlier on in the video, have to disagree with that. Because ultimately, as I pointed out, there is no escape from reality. You cannot escape from life as such. Because there is no state of being that you could partake in, that you could experience, that does not involve you being alive. But then, think about this so-called delusion that you might be experiencing. This delusion that your life 
somehow has purpose, that you have given some form of meaning to your life. And in the greater scheme of things, this is irrelevant, it doesn't matter, and so on and so forth. But then realize what happens once you die. You've lived your whole life, having given your life this meaning, having had this purpose to your life that you yourself, the goals you set for yourself, the purpose you set for yourself, having lived your life working towards those goals and purposes or in the light of the meaning that you have attributed to everything that happens around you, the enjoyment of the company of your family and friends, the learning experiences you've had in your life, all those things are important to you, all those things have given meaning to your life or you have created meaning for yourself out of all those experiences. And now you're going to die. And having lived all your life in this, what those people would call a delusion, you will then die, and then you will not exist anymore. In other words, even if all of this was wrong, even if it all was a delusion, you will never know that it was. You will never know that you were, as they would put it, wrong about all of it. And then you would like to think to yourself, or I would put it to you, is it then really that much of a delusion? I'm not so sure, to be honest.